I'm always really interested in people who who have done work as extras for WWE, and you had a prominent appearance where you were on mm-hmm. Raw a while back. Uh, ex- right. Explain to me how that came about. Um, I was. I was contacted by one of my really good friends, uh, Devin Nicole. Um, and she was like, Hey, uh, are you busy? Uh, we have raw in Atlanta. Can you drive down? And then we had uh, SmackDown in Tennessee. And I was like, yeah, sure. You know, we get there and it's just her and I there as far as female extras. And I'm looking around and I'm like, okay, Nia Jax is going to have a match, and this is when she was doing all the enhancement ta- talent stuff, and I was like, you know, I'm the smallest woman out of us two. I was like, I'm probably going to get picked. Like, and, and lo and behold, because I'm the smallest, they're like, yep, yeah, you. <laughs> so I got picked to have the, uh, the match for her, and she's such a sweetheart, and we went through it, and it it, it came out pretty well. Um, yeah. It let me have a little bit of offense, because beforehand, it was just straight squash for every, pretty much everybody else. So I was pretty glad that they let me do that as well as uh i did like a little impromptu kind of move because she ended up slapping me while i was on the turnbuckle and i wasn't expecting the slap (laughs) so (laughs) i was like so that's like my total reaction is like supernatural so i'm like oh okay and she comes to get me again i was like oh well i'm gonna give this receipt whether you like it or not and then (laughs) I just kicked her straight, straight in the face. She's like, oh, okay. Let's, get, let's continue with the match. But it was great. Did she say anything about that afterwards? No. She was just like, oh, was I too stiff? Or anything? I was like, no. And she was like, I'm glad that you gave some offense so it just wouldn't it just wouldn't look stupid. Because, you know, you're not just going to slap me. I'm not going to hit you back. I mean, my, my daughter's watching. So mom's <laughs> got to defend herself. <laughs> so who's the person that, that lets you know that you're the one being picked? Who is the person backstage that comes up to you and says, hey, you got a match tonight. Um, who, who was it? Who was it? It was, um, oh man, who, ah, uh, that was so long ago. Who yeah. was it? Uh, you know, I can't, I can't even remember. Uh, it's, it's um, fine. yeah. In the match, there were a couple spots I, I specifically noticed. That clothesline looked really, uh, deep to say the least. Mm. <laughs> Yes. She, she cracked that that clothesline. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that one feel? <clears throat> that that one wasn't that bad. Um, not as bad as the finishing move. Uh, which that which one? The, the like Samoan drop into the power he, slam? Yes, into the yes, the Samoan drop into the power slam. Ooh, that man, one, that's not one you see her do a lot. It looked great. No, it looked awesome. No, it's, yeah, they were they were like, oh, well, let's. She was asking if she could do the uh, newer, like the, the new finish she was working on, and uh, and she was like, "Are you okay taking this?" I'm like, "I'm fine, you know, it doesn't really matter. Like, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm here for you, Bubba. New York, we're gonna get you over." So <laughs> she uh, practices it, you know, everything's cool and everything. And when she's practicing, she's putting her knees up, and every, so like when she actually did the move, I wasn't expecting her to go all the way down. So I was like, "Oh well," but I sold it. <laughs> So, any feedback backstage? Uh, it from... was Road Dog. It was Road, Road Dog. Dog. Okay. Yes, Road Dog, because he kept. He's like, "Oh, your name's Ariel Monroe." So he tried to get them to announce me as Ariel Sputnik Monroe. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, "Oh ball. man." Corn right. Ball. He, we we almost got it through. Oh, it was no. like almost until Vince was like, "Huh." No. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> like so, right before I came out, he was he changed his mind. <laughs> so any feedback from Vince, from Road Dog, from anybody backstage uh, about the match? Um yeah, like a lot of people uh Road Dog, uh, uh Triple H, uh Seth, Randy, all of them said that like my selling was really good. Uh Finn liked how I like I moved around in the ring. Uh, it was it was really all positive. They really, just really loved that I was just selling and you know, I have like a unique style of selling. So how early did you get there? I see the thing is with you, you know what time to get there. A lot of people who show up for extra right. work don't. And some of the people I've talked to say that they show up there like way too early trying to like make right. a good impression. Yeah, I didn't do any of that. I showed up <laughs> on time, like maybe 10 minutes or so before. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I firmly believe, like, you know, when I was in the Air Force, they taught you that that window is, like, you 15 minutes. If you show up above, you know, anything, like, 20 minutes beforehand, it's just too early. But you have that 15-minute window 
where you can show up, but they don't show up directly on time. You know, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. 